Disclaimer. Enjoy. Being a musician is pretty dirty business. If you've seen one of my guitar restoration videos, you can vouch for me here. In some extreme cases, I've seen finger gunk caked on the fretboard that's turned green over time. It's dirty stuff. Perhaps you were in the splash zone of some really hooked up musicians. Dude, yes, I'm so glad we waited six hours in line to beat out pretty much the entirety of general admission. Dude, so true. I could practically smell the lead guitar player's cologne. Take us there! So what I have here is one of my go-to Fender Stratocasters. I use this thing every day. I'm gonna have one Petri dish full of nutrient agar, label it guitars, and just test for bacteria in all of my most used guitars. Swab the surface for at least five to 10 seconds. Twist the swab while sampling. Yeah, it's just the COVID test pretty much. I'm a student and this is my science fair project to test guitar stores for dirtiness. Definitely playing a lot of licks around the 12th fret. Okay, well I already screwed this up. Supposed to get the tip wet for five to 15 seconds and I did not do that. Water's not the worst thing for a guitar, so don't fret it. Oops. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. That is filthy, dude. Nutrient agar contains all of the proper ingredients for bacteria to grow. We're talking carbohydrates, peptides, sheep's blood in some cases. These samples will incubate for the next three to five days in a warm and dark spot. Appreciate your help on the last video. I'm doing a sort of science experiment today about cleanliness of different guitar shops. And I wanted to get your input on that and perhaps test a guitar. Today's just a bad day. I'm doing a science experiment, really. You're going to have to talk to him. He won't be back in till tomorrow. Yeah, I guess it doesn't sound too great when you put it that way. I was calling beforehand, laying out my plan in front of them. I don't think that helped at all. If we're going to do this, it needs to be covert, like some undercover boss business. I'm half expecting the employees to come running after me saying, No, wait, you have important information. Now, when it comes to being sanitary, a couple guitar stores stand out in my mind. Every time I pick up a commercial music store guitar, it feels like the thing hasn't had a string change since 2006, and that place was actually doing good business. Oh yeah. They were genuinely distracted trying to sell somebody something. Freaking success, fellas. That was a freaking success. I mean, I sat around playing for at least 30 minutes. When I was ready, I asked. I didn't ask to use the restroom. This is not fifth grade. I walked up to use the restroom. The wet Q-tips will help carry the bacteria from one place to another. This next location is like sacred to me. Cheap way. There was just cool gear. I got my Telly strat there. Lots of policemen out today. I think they're after me. Snow. Oh shit, here we are. Hi there. No, I'm just looking. I was literally the only one playing guitar in that entire store. Played it cool, like I was just some average guitar player without any friends. I'm very good at that. It comes naturally. Do you mind if I try out a pedal? Sure, we'll take the try out. The Qtron? Hi there. How you doing? Good. This place was getting a bit too hot. 
yesterday, if I called ahead to these shops and said, hey, I'm bringing some nutrient agar to your shop and I'm going to test for bacteria, I guarantee you they would have turned that offer down as soon as the words left my mouth. One PRS, one Telecaster, and then one Qtron envelope filter guitar pedal. With five days on the clock, I had nothing but time on my hands. So I called a friend to see if I could get a glimpse into the work ethic of a guitar store employee. Well, you worked at commercial music store for a while, right? Uh, yes, I did. February to April last year, so like two, three months. I cleaned um, one guitar one time, and it was because I'm really sweaty mother was playing it. I did it because I was just a stand-up guy. Well, remember, you're also a little bit of a germaphobe, too. Yeah, out of all the commercial music stores in, like, our area, this is the most pristine. Maybe Quinn's right. Maybe I am a germaphobe. Probably not, though. Generally, nutrient agar is used in, like, science fair projects. It's usually safe, right? But if you leave it cultivating in 80 degrees for over three days, you have the potential to grow pathogens in your plate. You'd be shocked how many fastidious microorganisms can grow inside of something like this. Syphilis does not need a lot to grow in abundance. Same with E. coli, the bacteria that causes strep throat, pathogenic microorganisms that could tear up your insides and just put you in a world of pain. Um, but yeah, I really just don't want to get strep. Ooh, that's gunky. That's gunky. Dude. Ew, <laughs> that's fucking gross. It's got a faint coughing smell, like maybe I should be wearing a face mask kind of scent. I still haven't decided on whether or not I'm gonna name these guitar stores in the video, just cause I don't wanna get sued for defamation. Now the ultra mega commercial guitar store that I went to, the first one, I swabbed the most used areas of the guitar for bacteria, and at the end of the day, I didn't think much was gonna happen. Ew, it's tr ew, 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 that's the grossest thing I've ever seen. Granted, this is only three or four days after incubating, plenty of time to grow bacteria. The Boss DS1 pedal that I use all the time, it was like something out of the blob. the local place. Significantly cleaner than the Uber commercial spot I went to uh, previously. I tested two floor models, a PRS and also a Squire Stratocaster, both pretty nice guitars going for 300 plus dollars. That PRS was amazing. I didn't know they played that good, but what I was most surprised at was the pedals. Qtron envelope filter, hats off. These devices are literally meant to be on the floor, and they're meant to be stomped on. But somehow, by keeping all of their pedals in a glass case, it drew the least amount of bacteria out of this whole experiment. I mean, we're talking minuscule mold specs. And before I give you a big hug and say farewell, here are all the samples I gathered stacked up against each other. <laughs> 